Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this live session regarding weekly current affairs from 10th December to 16th December 2018. Just now we have got the prelims result of IBPS PO mains exam. Sorry, IBPS PO mains exam. So anyone has cleared this exam, please let me know. PO mains result. Yes, very good evening. No one has cleared. PO mains. Okay, we'll get the result. No, no worries. So moving on to the first question. Yes, shall we start? Okay. Name the author of the book of counsel of counsel the challenges of Modi Jaitley economy. Those who have not cleared, don't worry. We have many more exams, but you have to increase your preparation and you have to change your preparation strategy so that you will win as soon as possible the next coming exam of any uh, bank. Okay. So don't uh, let off yourself, keep on trying, don't waste your time and increase your preparation. So who has written this book of counsel, the challenges of Modi Jaitley economy? Recently it was released, it was released by earlier uh, Chief Economic Advisor, it is Aravind Subramanyam. He has written this book of counsel, The Challenges of Modi Jaitley Economy. Please be active in answering the questions. Former Vice Chancellor of Jamia Millia Islamia University, Professor Mushirul Hassan has died recently. He was a dash. Doctor, historian, mathematician, scientist or musician. Professor Mushirul Hassan is very famous. Historian. Historian is the right answer. Next. Who is the author of the book Changing India? It will be released very soon. I think probably tomorrow. Changing India. It was written by. Yes. Be active in answering the questions. What is the right answer for this question? The former Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh. It is about his political life. Okay, moving on to the next question. Who has resigned from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Economic Advisory Council recently? Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council advises Prime Minister on Economic Affairs. Who is the head of this? It is Vivek Debroy, who is the full time member of Niti Ayog, right? So, Surjit Balla has resigned as the Prime Minister's Economic Council member. Okay. Who has become the first English writer to be awarded with Nanpeet Award 2018? First English writer for the first time. An English writer has got this Gnanpeet Award 2018. Gnanpeet Award is given in 22 languages plus English. 22 official languages of India mentioned in the 8th schedule of Indian constitution given by Bharatiya Gnanpeet Trust. Okay. It is Amitav Ghosh. Amitav Ghosh is the right answer. Moving on to the next question. Which state high court has ordered a ban on sale of online medicines of e-pharmacies across India on 12th December 2018? 
which state high court has ordered a ban on sale of online medicines by e-pharmacies that means selling medicines online was banned by a state high court state or ut high court okay it is delhi high court we go to the next question when did unicef united nations children's emergency fund celebrated its 71st foundation day recently unicef it is headquartered at new york right when is it celebrated unicef let me see who will answer this question please be active everyone in answering the questions don't be dull with the results i can see this on the comment section right see failures and success are part of life okay just think that you have not prepared enough for the examination because the competition is very high the cut off may be high okay you will let you will also know how much score uh, did you score in the actual mains examination okay so check where was your fault in which of the topics okay there is no shortcut for success you have to prepare as much as you can you think that this is your last attempt and give your best okay all the best and what is the answer for this question december 11th is the unicef's foundation day which was founded on you know on december 11th 1946 and its headquarters is at new york securities and exchange board of india sebi has renamed the institutional trading platform as recently sebi has renamed this platform sebi ajay tyagi is the chairman which is headquartered at mumbai which is the capital market regulator so it was renamed to innovators growth platform next organization of the petroleum exporting countries opec in its monthly oil market report predicted the global economic growth to be dash for 2018 and dash for 2019 OPEC OPEC is a actual grouping of 15 nations but minus 1 Qatar will be will exit the OPEC from January 2019 which is at OPEC is headquartered at Vienna of Austria and what is the right answer option number One is the right answer. Three point seven percent for two thousand eighteen and three point five percent for two thousand nineteen. Where was the eighteenth India-Russia Intergovernmental Commission on Military Technical Cooperation held? So where was it held? It was held in our capital, that is New Delhi. Next. Where was India's first private sector unit for manufacturing unmanned aerial vehicles inaugurated? India's first private sector UAV manufacturing unit was inaugurated at Where is it? In Hyderabad. Yes. Moving on to the next question. The Kaiga Atomic Power Station has created a world record for the longest uninterrupted operation for 941 days. It is in the state of Kaiga Atomic Power Station or Kaiga Nuclear Power Plant. Where is it? Kaiga. Easy to remember. Kaiga stands for K stands for Karnataka here. Yeah. we have tarapur jaitapur both are in maharashtra 
ओके नारोरा न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इन उत्तर प्रदेश कुदनकुलम यू नो राइट इन तमिलनाडु कोबाडा इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश ओके सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स एंड काइगा इज इन कर्नाटक ओके नेपाल गवर्नमेंट हैज बैंड इंडियन करेंसी अबाउट द डिनोमिनेशन ऑफ डैश रुपीस ऑन फोर्टीन दिसंबर 2018 सो नेपाल हैड अ फियर दैट इन इफ इफ इन फ्यूचर देर इज डिमोनिटाइजेशन इन इंडिया अगेन देर विल बी प्रॉब्लम इन नेपाल दैट्स वाई इट हैज कट डाउन द डिनोमिनेशन ऑफ अबाउ हंड्रेड रुपीज अप टू हंड्रेड रुपीज इट इज अलाउड But above hundred rupees, the Indian currency is not allowed in Nepal. Which state has been selected by the Union Ministry of Agriculture for Krishi Karman Award in the rice category that will be awarded in Feb Yes, it was awarded to Jharkhand. Jharkhand is the right answer. Okay, who is the CM? Raghubar Das and Draupadi Murmu is the governor of Jharkhand. National Energy Conver Conservation Day is celebrated on dash throughout India. We have Bureau of Energy Efficiency, right? Which is under Ministry of Power. Who is the minister? R.K. Singh is the minister. also the minister for new and renewable energy national energy conservation day is observed on december 14th is the right answer next which indian startup has been honored by un climate action award at the 2018 un climate change conference that is cop24 which was held at katowice in poland COP24 Conference of Parties. It is also called as UN Climate Change Conference. Help us green. It is in Uttar Pradesh. What does it do? Is it uh, collects uh, flowers from temples, temples or mass, and converts into the incense sticks. Uh, next, uh, organic manure, etc. That's why it was given the UN Climate Action Award at COP24. IMF has announced that global debt has reached an all-time high of dash dollars compared to the earlier estimate of USD 182 trillion on 14 December 2018. So how much it has reached? 184 trillion 184 trillion is the right answer 184 trillion IMF headquarters IMF and World Bank are headquartered at Washington DC public sector banks have recovered dash lakh crore rupees worth of bad loans during the four years from the financial year 2014 to 2018 So how much lakh crore rupees they have recovered as NPAs? 2.33 is the right answer. 2.33 lakh crores were recovered by the public sector banks, 21 PSBs. Next, who was redesignated from advisor to principal advisor in Niti Aayog on 14 December 2018? Niti Aayog, it has a chairman the Prime Minister, the Vice Chairman is Rajiv Kumar. And who is the present Principal Advisor? That is Anil Srivastava is the right answer. Next. 
Name the Intelligence Bureau Director who received an extension of tenure for six months on 14 December 2018. He, IB Director, Intelligence Bureau Director. Intelligence Bureau works, it is an intelligence agency within India, okay. It is Rajiv Jain. Rajiv Gauba is the Home Affairs Secretary. Under Home Minister, okay. Rajiv Jain is the IB Director. It is an intelligence agency within India. Intelligence Bureau which is under Ministry of Home Affairs. Chief of Research and Analysis Wing. Dash received an extension of tenure of 6 months on 14 December. RAW is an external intelligence agency. Particularly it will look into the terror threat on to India, okay, from outside. It is Anil K. Dasmana, Chief of RAS, got the 6 months extension. Name the Energy Conservation Building Code for Residential Buildings lodged by Ministry of Power on National Conservation Day that is on December 14th in New Delhi. What is the name of it? Eco Nivas Samhita 2018 is the right answer. On which day International Tea Day is observed worldwide? International Tea Day. It is observed on December 15th is the right answer. Who has been appointed as a new president of Film and Television Institute of India? Earlier it was Anpam Kher. He has resigned stating he was busy in his schedule. Now it is BP Singh has become the new FTII chairman which is at Pune. Film and Television Institute of India, Prijendra Pal Singh. Which of the following banks has launched Advantage Women Aura Savings Account? This is for women employees particularly. Focusing women employees. So which is that bank? It is ICSA Bank, Industrial Credits Investment Corporation of India, which is headquartered at Mumbai. Who is the MD and CEO? Sandeep Bakshi is the MD and CEO. Next. Who was sworn in as the Chief Minister of Telangana for the second term on 13th December 2018? CM of Telangana, the 29th state in India, which was formed on 2nd June. 2014. This is a formation day of Telangana. So it is Kalvakundla Chandrasekhar Rao of TRS party. Okay, ESL Narsiman is a governor of both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana states. Where was the 19th annual Gulf Cooperation Council Summit 2018 held? GCC, it is a grouping of six nations. It is headquartered at Riyadh of Saudi Arabia. So this summit was also held at Riyadh of Saudi Arabia. The government of India and ADB Asian Development Bank have signed a dash loan agreement to reduce floods and river bank erosion in flood prone areas along the Brahmaputra River in Assam. So how much million dollar loan was signed? So how much million dollar loan was signed? It is 60 million dollar loan was signed. Which country has announced the installation of academic Lomonoso, which is a world's first floating nuclear power plant? 
so it may supply electricity to unreachable areas like that so what is the right answer you see so you use like that it will be russia only right russia is the right answer what is the wholesale inflation for november 2018 wholesale inflation or wholesale price index calculated on the wholesale goods how much is it it is 4.64 percent is the right answer next which of the following was allowed by rba to open 40 new branches by the end of december 2018 releasing the restriction it had put on the bank for opening new branches in september 2018 so which was that bank it is Bandhan Bank, which is headquartered at Kolkata, Chandrasekhar Ghosh is the MD and CEO. Okay, the private sector bank, Bandhan Bank. Which Indian armed force has conducted its first ever exercise named Crossbow 2018? crossbow so as the bow will be released to the air right into the air so it is Indian Air Force Jamal Khashoggi who has been named Times magazine person of the year is from which country is very famous uh, journalist from Saudi Arabia he was killed killed at the Turkey consulate but he belongs to Saudi Arabia hand in hand 2018 joint military exercise was held in Chengdu of China which is between India, China and Daesh Chengdu, China is it was held hand in hand. It is between India and China is the right answer. By which of the following names the Allen Border Medal was renamed, which would be effective from 2019. Allen Border Medal. Allen Border, the famous uh, cricketer from. Australia, Australia Cricket, Cricket Awards. Who has become the first ever Indian athlete to win the International Table Tennis Federation Breakthrough Star Award? All of them are the table tennis players. The very famous is Manika Batra. She was very famous through the Commonwealth Games Gold. Okay, Manika Batra has won this Breakthrough Star Award. The CAG, the Comptroller and Auditor General of India, has become the Vice Chair of the UN Panel of Auditors for a term of two years, ending on June 30, 2020. So, who is the present CAG is the question. Who has become the Vice Chair of the UN Panel of Auditors? Who is the present CAG? That is Rajiv Meharishi is the present Comptroller and Auditor General. Where was the fourth Partners Forum to improve the health and well-being of women and children and adults? Health. This was inaugurated by PM Modi. Yes, it was held at New Delhi is the right answer. Where was the national conference Ayush Charya on Dinacharya daily regimen and Ritucharya seasonal regimen for public health promotion held on 10th and 11th December 2018? 
आयुष एरिया मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष श्रीपद यसो नायक इज अ मिनिस्टर इट वॉज हेल्ड एट न्यू डेली मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री हैज रिलीज इंडिया फर्स्ट एग्रीकल्चरल एक्सपोर्ट पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड एटीन एम्ड टू प्रोपेल इंडिया इंडिया टू बिकम ए फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी बिफोर प्रजेंटली इंडिया इज टू प्लस यूएस टी ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी एक्चुअली सो इंडिया वॉन्ट्स टू बिकम फाइव ट्रिलियन बिफोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव India's first agricultural export policy is released by Ministry of Commerce and Industry would boost India's agricultural exports to dash dollars by 2022 and now it is 30 plus billion so India wants to double its exports to 60 plus billion who is the minister for commerce and industry it is who is the minister for commerce and industry suresh prabhu which nation has stopped the climate change performance index released on the sidelines of cop24 un summit in katowice poland yes it was stopped by sweden is the right answer its capital is stockholm what is the rank of india in this climate change performance index first is sweden and what is the rank of india it is number 11 even china is backward than india in this india's navy Indian Navy's first flyway deep sea submarine rescue system was inducted by Chief of Naval Staff that is Admiral Sunil Lamba It will be operated and deployed by Submarine Rescue Unit West from its base in which of the following cities So where will be will be a station this deep sea submarine rescue system the first one will be stationed at Mumbai is a right answer and second one is station will be at visakhapatnam two are procured pcs 1x a cloud based new generation technology to ease to increase the ease of doing business was launched by indian ports association on 11 december 2018 what does c represent in pcs what does c represent in pcs it is port community system so who among the following was appointed as the presiding officer in the securities appellate tribunal mumbai presiding officers in the securities appeal tribunal mumbai it was justice tarun agarwala is the right answer what is the retail inflation for november 2018 wholesale inflation is 4.64 and how much is the retail inflation it is 2.33 well below the RBI target, right? Yes or no? RBI tries to maintain within four percent the price rise. Where was Vivaha Panchmi, the wedding of Lord Rama and Goddess Sita, celebrated in December two thousand eighteen? It was attended by UPCM Yogi Adityanath, 
विवाह पंचमी इन जनकपुर जनका वाइज द फादर ऑफ सीता और नॉट सो जनकपुर ऑफ नेपाल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैज बिकम द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश ट्वेंटी थर्ड इज शी ओमी एंड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ इज लेपरा Union Ministry Union Home Ministry has launched Twitter account named Dash to spread awareness about cyber crimes. Yes, it is. Cyber Dost is the right answer. Which of the following has launched bankable debit card for cricket fans in the country? For especially cricket fans, it has the cricket uh, players from India's photos on this debit card. It was launched by Jana Small Finance Bank, which is headquartered at Bengaluru. Fincare is also at Bengaluru. ESAF is at Thrissur. These two are at Mumbai. Jena Bankable Debit Card. Umid Thousand Cyclothon is a CIS Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative of Dash. Umid Thousand Cyclothon. It is of Ratnakar Bank Limited, that is RBL Bank, which is headquartered in Mumbai, which is a private sector bank. Where was first international conference on sustainable water management held? Yes, it was held at Mohali of Punjab. Which state or UT has launched Operation Minimum Wage to check violations of Minimum Wage Act 2018? Operation Minimum Wage launched by Delhi government. Next, who has been appointed as the new governor of RBI? New governor of RBI, the 25th governor, the 24th was Urjit Patel, who was the first one? Osborne Smith. Second one, I think I have told you this, J.B. Taylor or James Braid Taylor. Third one is Chintaman Deshmukh, C.D. Deshmukh. First Indian governor. Okay. And also after independence. And Shaktikanta Das has become the 25th governor of RBI. Remaining all four are the present deputy governors of RBI. Who has been honored with the title Mithyo Lima, which is, which, which is called as Par Excellent Queen, which means Par Excellent Queen. Mithyo Loma. It is our boxing champion, six times world champion, Mary Com. She is from Manipur. And also Mithiloma M. 
next central and asian development bank has signed a loan agreement of 31 million dollars to develop tourism and boost jobs in it is in tamil nadu to boost the jobs in tamil nadu adb and center has signed 31 million us dollars so note down somewhere all these statistics so that you can recall before the examination which of the following has become the 38th member of financial action task force recently financial action task force works against money laundering in the world which is headquartered at Paris. At Paris, we also have UNESCO, right? It is Israel. Israel is the right answer. Its currency is new shekel. Today we have seen Australia has told that West Jerusalem was recognized as its capital, as by Australia, right? On which day International Day of Neutrality and International Universal Health Coverage Day are observed? International Day of Neutrality and International Universal Health Coverage Day. What is the theme of International Universal Health Coverage Day? Universal Health Coverage Everyone Everywhere. It is December 12th, they are observed. Who has won the trophy of Mr. Supranational 2018? Supranational for the first time by India. It is Pratamesh Maulinkar. Who has become the youngest Indian golfer to win Asian Tour of Order of Merit? Youngest Indian golfer to win Asian Tour Order of Merit. It is Shubankar Sharma is the right answer. Which city is the venue of 2018 Military Literature Festival? Military Literature Festival. It is in Chandigarh. Which politician will be awarded as Best Woman Parliamentarian Rajya Sabha by President M. Vanka and in New Delhi? Best woman parliamentarian from Rajya Sabha. It is Kanimoli of Dravida Munnetra Kalagam of Tamil Nadu. Okay, DMK party, Stalin, etc. Okay, Karmanidhi, his daughter. Then the three days. Three stage nuclear capable surface to surface ballistic missile successfully. Testified by India from Dr. Abdul Kalam Island of Odisha coast. It is also called as Wheeler's Island. It was renamed to Abdul Kalam Island of Odisha coast. Surface to surface missile. That means it will be launched from surface and it will target the surface. And this is our Agni. Series number 5. It is an intercontinental ballistic missile. That means it will cross the continents also. Approximately its range is 5000 kilometers range. A target Pakistan or etc. like that. Okay. Which Indian cricketer became the first Indian skipper to win a test in South Africa, England and Australia on 10th December 2018? To win a test in South Africa, England and Australia. Three T 
teams. Virat Kohli of Indian cricket team captain. Tamil Nadu government has launched 24 hour toll free helpline number dash for women facing domestic violence and sexual harassment to get assistance such as police help, legal aid or medical services. In most of the states it is the same helpline it is 181 is the right answer. What was the theme of International Day of Human Rights 2018 which is observed on 10th December? On the 10th December, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was passed in 1948, 10th December. That is, Stand Up for Human Rights is a the theme of International Human Rights Day. Observed on 10th December. Union government has increased its contribution to national pension system from 10% to dash percent. That is 14%. National pension systems, anyone from 18 to 65 years can join this either government or private or any individual even NRIs can also join this initial pension system as per union government now the withdrawal amount under NPS is dash percent tax exempted under income tax act 1961 so how much percentage is tax exempted earlier it was 40 percent now remaining 60 percentage is also tax exempted so total 100 percentage is tax exempted now money coach a robotics based investment advisory application on its mobile app is related to which of the following banks money coach This was launched by the ICICI Bank in its on its iMobile app. International Mountain Day is observed on Dash with the theme for 2018 as Dash. Yes, it is observed on 11th December and theme is Mountains Matter. World's first Hindi speaking robot Rashmi is to host on Dash. The name of it is Rashmi. World's first Hindi speaking robot. So it will host on the Red FM, the radio Red FM. Who was appointed as the chief economic advisor for a period of three years on 7th December 2008? Very important question. 25th Arbe Governor is Shakti Kanta Das, that is also important. And Chief Economic Advisor, earlier it was Arvind Subramanyam. Now, Krishnamurti Subramanyam is the right answer. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of SWIFT India Domestic Services, which is the local unit of SWIFT, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication? generally used to send uh, messages between financial institutions worldwide particularly banks where there is, there is a code called SIFT to code it is 8 to 11 digit code it is Arundhati Bhattacharya was appointed as a SWIFT India chairperson UN Food and Agricultural Organization has decided to observe which year as the International Year of Millets. Millets, you know, right? Jowar, Bajra, Ragi, these are millets. They have high protein content. Yes, 
2023 will be observed as international year of millets which country is set to become the world's first country to make its all its public transport free by 2019 public transport will be free by 2019 it is luxembourg its capital is luxembourg city only same like mexico mexico city currency is again euro which union ministry has been conferred the scotch award for national significance scotch foundation is a private organization it is ministry of new and renewable energy who is a minister rk singh he is also the minister for power for its contribution in increasing the renewable energy con like solar wind etc which of the following has become the india's second container cargo sector on inland waterways recently iwa chairman was also appointed who was it told you how to remember jalaj srivatsava jal means water or not it is under the ministry of shipping who is a minister nitin gadkari is a minister he is also the minister for road transport and highways it is kolkata to patna first is first मल्टी मॉडल टर्मिनल इज वाराणसी टू हल्दिया सेकेंड इज कोलकाता टू पाटना एम वेंकैया नायडू हैज रिलीज टू बुक्स द रिपब्लिकन एथिक इन इंग्लिश एंड लोकतंत्र के स्वर इन हिंदी दीज बुक्स कंटेन कंपाइलेशन ऑफ सेलेक्टेड स्पीच इज मेड बाई डैश लोकतंत्र के स्वर एंड द रिपब्लिकन एथिक इट इज बाय द प्रेसिडेंट रामनाथ कोविंद अकॉर्डिंग टू लेटेस्ट एडिशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक माइग्रेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट बिलीफ सॉरी ब्रीफ दिट इज नॉट बिलीफ इंडिया इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू रिसीव हाउ मच रेमिटेंस इन 2018 फ्रॉम एन आर आईज हाउ मच मनी विल बी रिसीव इन टू it is 80 billion us dollars so that it will become the number one country in the world with 80 billion us dollars remittances as per this world bank migration and development brief okay vanessa pons de leon was crowned as miss world 2018 she belongs to which country today miss universe uh, was announced right and vanessa pons leon has was failed to make in the top 20, 20 itself she is a transgender vanessa pons de leon she is from mexico is the right answer capital is mexico city currency is mexican peso India's current account deficit widened to dash percentage of GDP in the July September quarter that is second quarter of the fiscal 2018-19 Yes it has widened to 2.9 percentage of GDP Which nation has launched Change 4, the first ever space rover to explore the darker side of moon? Change 4. It is by China. Which state has become the only state to have four international airport in India?
this recently the fourth one is the Kannur airport was recent uh, airport which was inaugurated by the Kerala government the 18th all India conference of the heads of science centers and museums began in which city So it has begun in Itanagar is the right answer. According to the global status report on road safety, which country has stopped in the list of highest road deaths? So which country has stopped in the highest road deaths? It is India is the right answer. Which player has etched his name in the record books by slamming the highest first class score of 267 on debut in Ranji Trophy? It is Ajay Rohara is the right answer. On which day International Anti-Corruption Day observed worldwide? International Anti-Corruption Day it is observed on December 9th is the right answer. Okay, we have successfully completed around 90 questions. Did you note down your score? So IBPS PO mains result has come. So those who have not qualified, don't worry, this is not the end of the world itself, right? So increase your confidence and how you will increase your confidence? You can increase your confidence only through your practice. When you score more marks in the mock test, you will improve your score. Don't let yourself down, okay? Just I have written my poem, right? Hope you remember those lines. Shall I repeat it again? Oh great soul, come on, proceed until you succeed. Okay? So I'll meet you next time. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.